The first time I experienced The Last of Us was back in 2017 on my PS4, and I remember thinking to myself, what the hell took me so long to play this game? The Last of Us Part 1 is without a doubt one of the best stories ever told in gaming, point blank, period. For a game with so much brutality, there's almost just as much humanity along the way. And for a game with such a deep story, the gameplay and combat pair with it perfectly, creating this incredible gaming experience as a whole. The recent success of the HBO miniseries proves it even more so that this story is one most people can connect with to some degree. But I'll be the first to admit that I'm one of those people that will always choose the game over the show any day of the week. I mean, I love what Prince Oberyn and Lady Mormont brought to their versions of Joel and Ellie, but like I said earlier, the game is brutal and the show isn't really close to it in terms of brutal combat you experience while playing. And since I've never experienced the game at its most brutal difficulty yet being grounded difficulty, I figured it was only right we do so while going for 100% completion. So, recently I bought the game on sale for PC, thinking that they fine-tuned all the issues by now, and I began my first ever grounded playthrough. Oh yeah, remember when I said I hoped that they fine-tuned all the issues with the PC port by now? Well, this is how long it took me to tinker with the game just to get it into a playable state. This PC port is still broken, but more on that later as I will have plenty to show you. Now let's get started. So we select grounded mode and the game lets us know twice in a row that it doesn't believe in us whatsoever. So we pull in Eric Cartman and we make the game respect our authority and we begin. We're then met with the intro sequence where we all know what happens at this point, right? So let's just go through the sad stuff quickly. The outbreak begins, Joel and his family run away, the very sad moment happens and boom, 20 years later. We're now met with an old bitter looking Joel as he's awoken by his partner Tess letting him know that there's a group of thugs after them because of an arms deal that went wrong. And being of like mind and spirit, Tess and Joel decide that the only way to deal with this matter is to kill all the thugs and to steal their guns back, so we make our way out of town to do so. Along the way I collect my first of many collectibles in the game, and that is a conversation with this man over here standing by this red paper bin. The fireflies then shoot up the guards and the exit as we're leaving, so we run away from the fight and decide to take the secret passageway out. Just before we leave, Joel and Tess grab their gear, which seems to have been left there using the honor system, and we make our way out onto the streets. After another convo with Tess, we're finally met with our first infected of this run. I shot one of the infected, and then I whiffed my next few shots, leaving me bulletless, and then I have to manhandle the rest of them with my fisticuffs. We skirt our way through the little shanty town of wonderful people before grabbing two collectibles and then buying info off this guy, and he points us right in the direction of our weapon thief and his men, and we make our way over there. And, without fail, I die to the first two enemies, chalk one up on the death counter. We then push through this group as well as the next group before getting a little cocky on the group after that and dying a few times, but eventually I push through them and we're at the docks where the last group of Robert's men are at. After making a few dumb mistakes, we're finally able to sneak around and take out the men before we get to Robert and we're introduced to Marlene. Marlene then informs us that she's already purchased our weapons, but she's willing to exchange them back to us if we do her favor for her and smuggle something across the country. And after we're arguing for a little bit, we agree and we follow her to see what we're going to smuggle. Just before she shows us what we're smuggling, we have to sneak past these guards and miraculously, I managed to get past them on the first try without any hiccups. Well, almost no hiccups. Marlene then introduces us to not what we will be smuggling, but who we will be smuggling. Ellie. And after a little bit more arguing, Joel and Tess eventually agree, while Tess goes to help Marlene get back to her people safely because she's really hurt, Joel and Ellie head to a safe house to wait for Tess. And on the way there, we learn a little bit more about Ellie's backstory. So we make it to the safe house, we reunite with Tess, and then the three of us head back out. Almost immediately, we're caught by two guards and scanned for infections, and here we learn that Ellie was previously bitten and that she's actually immune to the virus, which is her secret all along. And after we take out the two guards and have a little chat with her, we're then met with an entire patrol of guards searching for us, so we have to escape the area. After escaping the guards, we have a little discussion with Ellie, and we learn a little bit more about why we're smuggling her and how the Fireflies plan to use her to make a vaccine. And right after that, even though I've missed like three of them at this point, we get our first Firefly Pendant along with our first achievement. Shortly after that, I enter this room, and then... My game crashed. Yay! Don't you just love that? Anyway, I booted back up, and then we're introduced to the clickers right away for the very first time. Immediately learning that they're blind and that they're attracted to sounds, we skirt past them with ease before coming in contact with another group of infected and clickers that proved to be a little bit more tricky this time around. 
It was also the very first time that my heart stopped on this playthrough. But after a few attempts, we make it past them to what I consider the first real challenging encounter when we enter the subway tunnels. Here in this area, there are several infected, as well as several clickers, and an artifact, and a safe that I desperately need. So, I first snuck over to the left to grab the artifact and the safe code that's attached to it before I attempted to take out all the infected by myself, quickly realizing that that is a very, very dumb idea, and well, after dying a few times, I came to terms with the fact that I'm just gonna have to sneak around if I wanted any chance at survival. So, I snuck across to the safe on the other side of the room before attempting to silently take out the clicker by the ladder. After failing, I then decided to throw a Molotov at him while hiding and then that enabled me to sneak past the rest of the infected. Next up, we enter the museum where we get separated from Tess and Ellie and then we have to deal with a group of clickers all by ourselves. And again, of course, I died. And I died. And then I figured out that if I just make a beeline for the door in the back and just run up the stairs, that I didn't even need to fight them at all. So I get to Tess and Ellie, and just as Ellie's getting attacked, I realize I have absolutely no ammo, and there's like six runners coming at me right now. So obviously we go down a bunch of times, but thankfully Tess and Ellie eventually hit their shots like the champs they are, allowing me to beat the rest of the infected with my fisticuffs yet again. After this fight, we continue making our way towards the Capitol building as we jump out onto the roof, and I look over at Ellie and I notice something is a little strange. Why does she look like a caveman? Bruh. And then I notice that Joel's hair is looking really weird, so I turn the camera around to see his face, and oh my god, it was amazing. This might be my favorite bug of all time. Just look at those caterpillars on their faces. Look, even Tess got the caterpillar treatment. Okay, bugs aside, we push towards the Capitol building and... Wait, why is the ground black? Dude, why does the water look like black sludge? This steam port is just so poorly optimized. It looks like a time fall storm from Death Stranding just took place. Where's my main man Norman Reedus? Okay, bugs aside, so we make it to the Capitol building, and then Tess reveals to us that she was actually bitten back in the museum. Knowing that she doesn't have much time left, she sends Joel and Ellie on their way as soldiers arrive to hunt us down, and she tries to buy us a little bit of time. So, we try to escape the Capitol building, not without dying a few times, obviously, but we do get this sweet new rifle, so that's a plus. We then start making our way over towards Bill, just as we realize how incredibly optimized this tree is. Honestly, it's truly next generation, just look how beautiful it is. Joel then steps into a trap, and we're hoisted upside down, and we have to defend Ellie from a bunch of infected. And I somehow managed to get it on my first try, and then we're introduced to Bill, and we have to run for our lives from a whole lot more infected. During this chase sequence, I stupidly run my ass directly into a clicker before we finally make it to Bill's hideout, or at least one of his hideouts. And then here, I grab my first training manual, as well as my second achievement. It's really taken a while to get any of these achievements, damn. Jeez. So then we ask Bill to lend us a car, and he agrees just as long as we help him gather some parts on the other side of town, and then we start making our way over there. On the way there, we die to a mob, then we take out said mob, just before getting to some houses, and I think I take everybody out on the first go, only to round this corner while reloading my pistol, and... well, yeah. We then skirt our way on over to the school after dying a few times on the way there, just before we have to pay the troll toll to this big chungus. He takes many bullets to put down, and he has a lot of help from some fast boys, but eventually we put him down, and we escape. But just before escaping, we take out some more fast boys in these beautifully rendered bushes. Just look how perfect they are. After that, we come across Bill's ex-partner, and if you've seen the show, it really just makes this part so much sadder now, just knowing Bill's alone. Man, rest in peace, Frank. We then have a wholesome driving cinematic, as well as the return of the caterpillar faces. Just look at those little guys go. And then we crash the car after being ambushed by some bandits, and then we have to take everybody out. And like clockwork, we die a couple times, but then we're finally able to push on through and take everybody out. We keep moving forward and then we encounter some bandits at hide to let them pass us, just before we have to listen to the first of Ellie's terrible jokes. I then finally grab my first comic book as well as my third achievement. We then get up to this mob of people that are around and inside of this bookstore, and it immediately got me thinking, why are bookstores just so awesome? Like, have you been to a Barnes & Noble lately? The vibes are immaculate there. Anyway, we attempt to take out all the guys in the bookstore, and then I quickly realized that there's a lot more guys than I thought there were, and after dying a bunch more times, it was time to turn on my face cam for the full reactions. Goodbye, shot first! Oh, one more, I think. Oh, where did he come from? Everybody, 
Oh, thank God. After finally putting them all down, we listened to some more of Ellie's bad jokes before eventually taking out this group of raiders in the hotel, and then it's time to fight another big chungus and all his freaker friends. And let me tell you, I was not prepared for this fight at all. Oh, he's a big boy! He's a big boy! Go away from me. I don't like you. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I don't know where to go. I'm supposed to take him out? I don't got no ammo. I don't know what... Okay. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have bombs. I forgot. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I supposed to be sneaky? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> I need so much more ammo than it gives me. You better die. Thank God. We eventually put down the big boy as well as all his freak or friends because I thought I needed to do so to get the key card to escape, only to realize afterwards that I actually could have just taken the key card and ran away without wasting all my ammo and resources. Yay! Does he not even have the key card? He doesn't even have the key card? That's annoying. So we make our way towards Ellie, but before we get back to her, we have to take out all these bandits at a hotel kitchen and the dining area. Uh, the big six. Oh, how you been? What, you saw me? Where? Hello. Thank you, Ellie. I shot the hell out of that guy, huh? And then shortly after being reunited with Ellie, we encounter some more goons in the courtyard, and these guys really, really messed me up, honestly. Don't leave me hanging, Ellie. Come on now. I need you out there. Hit your shots. Who, 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 who even hit me? That's one way to do it. Nice, Ellie. Let's go. I need stuff. Do any of you guys have any, any ammo? Oh my god. Ah. Shoot him, Ellie. Nice. Let's go. Damn. That dude has a cannon. God damn. Oh. I need that health. I need that health. No. No. Oh, no. Charge this guy. Beach to it. Even though I'm hurt now. Oh, come on, dude. I gotta be all stealthy again. It took so much time. Let's see, does it put me anywhere? Let's go. I love this game. I love the saves. Let's go. Thank God. Whew, I got scared. Uh, there's no way. New game. I eventually get tired of dying for the day. I get a snack yeah. and we call it a night and yeah. we pick it back up the next day. Let's try not to die, but we're going to die. So he's looking, he's looking up top. He's still there. Go and bye. Thank God. What? What? Where's the where they come from? More of them? Oh my god, dude. How many more are there? Oh my god, dude. A second wave. Anybody up here yet? Oh, there is. Oh, he's giving this guy a hug. Look at him. He's like, ah, my buddy. Please. 
No. More guys? No, I don't have ammo. I just got bombs. I don't know how many of them there are. Oh, he's up there. Oh, no. I was being so good, so stealthy. Okay. At least it was generous with this. That was close. I then get really lucky with dying in the back area, which allows me to spawn back there. And when I spawn back there, I'm then able to make my way up to this top office room area and hide as well as take out all the final few guys. And finally, after a lot more deaths, we're home free, baby. I mean, not really, but at least that part's over. And thank God. Come on. Oh, is he? He's the last one. Thank God. We did it. That took me like three hours. <laughs> We then get to another group of raiders and die a few more times before we make it over to this annoying ass armored truck that we have to just run away from. And because it's grounded mode, I'm basically always one or two shots away from going down. So after a bit of trial and error, we finally make it past the truck and we're finally introduced to Sam and Henry. We eventually get to this part where we have to sneak up to this generator without being seen for another achievement, and I'm able to get it on my first try, but when it comes to taking out all the raiders, well, that's a completely different story entirely. Now what? <laughs> I didn't even know I was getting an achievement there either. Nice. Henry, I'm gonna need you to shoot him. Henry, Henry! <sighs> you stupid ass, Henry. Fuck you, Henry. Can't hit your shots. You're just literally staring the guy in the face. Henry, kill somebody. Come on, bro. Oh my god, he's not dead? That's ridiculous. <sighs> Bull freaking John Elway. Every single hunter is an XQB. Like, it's ridiculous. Is that it? Oh my god, thank god. Good job, team. We eventually get past them and I make it to the sewer section where I get another achievement for riding this machine with Sam and Henry. And then we get split up and Joel and Sam have to deal with a group of freakers and clickers all by themselves. Eventually we get through it and we link back up with Ellie and Henry. And then I encounter a very annoying bug while trying to get Ellie to give me more bad jokes. And she just wouldn't say them to me. Like no matter how many times I reset this section and I tried triggering all the cues, I eventually just got frustrated and I moved on, hoping that I'll be able to get it when I clean up all the achievements later on, but it really just annoyed me. But just before that, we got an achievement for fully upgrading our revolver, as well as opening up all the safes, so that's a plus. We keep going and then we get to this part where we're pinned down by a sniper and we have to sneak up and take him out. And again, after some trial and error, we eventually take out all the raiders, including the sniper, before we ourselves become the sniper and we have to defend our group from a bunch of raiders and a swarm of infected. Eventually, we're able to escape and we make it back to a safe house with the group, and then another very sad moment happens. After losing Sam and Henry, Joel and Ellie eventually make it to Tommy's camp, and just before we go inside, we leave Ellie hanging on a high five for another achievement, as well as petting a good old good boy as we enter for yet another achievement. And like clockwork, Tommy's camp is then raided by our good old raider buddies, and we have to fend them off. After taking everyone out, Ellie then gets wind of Joel wanting Tommy to take her the rest of the way, and feeling betrayed, she steals a horse and she runs away. Joel and Tommy then chase after her, and we track her down to a nearby ranch house, and as Joel and Ellie have a heart to heart, more raiders show up to the house, and we have to take them all out as well. After escaping, Joel has a change of heart and he asks Tommy to point them in the direction that he needs to go so he can finish the mission with Ellie himself. Tommy then points us to a laboratory in a Colorado university and we make our way over there. Once we arrive at the school, we begin looking around for the lab and while we're looking around, I happen to stumble upon this flamethrower and then I immediately put it to use when I'm put into a dorm area that's filled with a whole bunch of clickers and a big bloater boy. After dying a few times, I'm finally able to take out all the clickers and then I sprint away from the bloater and I just barely escape. And then I immediately restart the section because I remembered that I have to kill this bloater in order to get a firefly pendant for 100% completion because of course I do. I need the, I need the pendant. God damn it. No! Stupid game. What a dumb game. Oh, I deserve that. I deserve that. 
deserve, I deserve that. I, 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 just, I, just, I deserve that. Yep, yep, yep. I deserve that. And again, after trying and failing multiple times, we're finally able to put everybody <sighs> down, including the Thanks, big boy, buddy. and collect our pendant. As we continue looking around the school, we're able to find the lab and the remnants of the fireflies that were left behind, and then we find a recorder letting us know that the fireflies have all moved on to a hospital located in Salt Lake City, and just after we learn this information, more bad guys arrive, Joel gets incredibly injured, and then we just barely escape. Cut to winter time, we're then transitioned to playing as Ellie as we hunt down some dinner for me and Joel. We begin chasing down a deer that we hit with an arrow, and just as we catch up to its body, we're introduced to David and one of his lackeys. Claiming to want the deer for their camp, Ellie offers them a trade of the deer for medicine, and then David sends his lackey to get it while he stays behind with Ellie as collateral. And of course, as Ellie and David are hanging out, they're ambushed by a bunch of infected, and we have to run and fight for our lives. After the attack is over, David then shows Ellie his true colors and he reveals that he's actually the leader of most of the dudes that we've been killing all game, so obviously he's not too happy with us. Then David's lackey returns with the medicine as well as a gun, but David lets us take the medicine so we can escape and he can follow us to find Joel as well. Immediately realizing that she's being followed when she gets back to Joel, Ellie then injects Joel with the mystery substance before we run away again trying to lure David's men away. As we run away, we have an epic horse chase sequence, and then we fight a bunch of guys, and then we make it to our eventual capture before waking back up as Joel. As a man on a mission, we hunt down most of David's men as Joel, eventually gathering two hostages and beating information out of them as to where Ellie is. We then cut back to Ellie as David's examining her for what course she's going to be on the menu, and then Ellie's able to trick them into arguing about her bite as she kills David's lackey and then escapes. Sneaking around through the snow, we eventually make it to this lodge area where we're met by David and it's time for the final showdown. We begin sneaking around the lodge and catching David by surprise while hitting him, and somehow I managed to get this part on my first attempt. The third attack from David is by far the most difficult one as he'll hide around himself, but as long as you avoid the glass on the ground and you move around carefully, this part really shouldn't be all that bad. We then cut back to Joel again as we begin closing in on Ellie's location, but first, we have to take out the rest of David's men, essentially. Bye bye And after taking them all out, we find Ellie just as she's brutally taking out David, and rightfully so, he's an absolute garbage human being, and we cut to springtime as Joel and Ellie are entering Salt Lake City. Just before we get to the hospital, we get to this abandoned quarantine zone where we find the final workbench tool, and then we enter this tunnel section with an overwhelming amount of infected clickers and bloaters. Two? Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? I'm just gonna try and run past, and see what happens. Oh, we're not gonna do it! I can't kill them! Oh, okay. That's cheating. No, that's even more cheating! Bro, how are we supposed to get past them? So I immediately try and see if I can just sprint past them, and when that doesn't work, I try to lure them all to the front area so that I can try to run away from the big guys while taking out any of the basic infected along the way. Run the big guys all the way over here. I missed. That's bullshit. Oh, 50? That's big. No, 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 this isn't time, buddy. This isn't time. I don't have time for this. Run, Ellie, run. Now let's go. We lured him away. Whoo, thank God. After we narrowly escape, we find the hey, final workbench getting another achievement finally, and then Joel and Ellie are then swept away by a crazy current, and when Joel finally reaches Ellie, she's unconscious and he tries to revive her, and as he's trying to revive her, the useless fireflies show up and they prove just how useless they are by knocking out Joel. Is that guy serious, brother? Like, what? You see what I'm doing? You see what's happening? We then wake up in a hospital bed with Marlene sitting right next to us. She lets us know that Ellie is okay and that she's already being prepped for surgery. She then lets us know that in order to extract what they need from Ellie, that Ellie's actually going to have to die. Obviously, that doesn't sit too well with Joel, and he demands to see Ellie, and they obviously refuse him, and they threaten his life. Feeling hopeless, Joel agrees, and then he decides to leave Ellie behind, and he heads on back to Tommy's. Nah, I'm just kidding. So as Joel's being escorted away, we brutally take out the loser that thinks he's fighting for a good cause, and then we hunt for Ellie as more fireflies show up to hunt for us. 
And let me just say that this is definitely my favorite part of the game because to me, the Fireflies aren't really that bad. They're just delusional with their whole we're fighting for a good cause mentality. In this apocalyptic setting, you can't just decide that you're the power that's gonna change the whole world and set it on a right path. Like, I understand what they want to be. I understand what they're trying to do. But if you're really gonna try and give this vaccine an attempt, why not study Ellie a bit more? Why not run a bunch of tests before you kill the only real shot you have for a very small chance of success? And I understand that you do find proof that the Fireflies ran a bunch of tests on Ellie to determine that she has to die for the procedure to go as planned, but you're not even gonna ask for consent. You're not even gonna wake her up. She almost just drowned. You're just gonna prep her for surgery immediately? To me, this whole attempt at a vaccine just seems rushed and incompetent by the Fireflies. And let's not also mention the fact that Joel's task was to get Ellie to the Fireflies and that he would receive weapons. Joel did his job Job, and instead, Marlene threatens him and she doesn't even pay him. That's even more of a reason for him to take Ellie back. These are apocalyptic rules, toots, and you are definitely not the boss of me. But before we even get to Ellie, we obviously have to take out all the fireflies in the hospital, which proved to be quite a challenge. Oh, hey, me. I was doing so good on the first try, damn it. As we're sneaking around taking out the first group of fireflies, we craft ourselves a smoke bomb and we get another achievement. What? He wasn't stunned? Ah, uh, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, bro. Come on, bro. No. Fuck, dude. Eventually, we get through the first group on the first floor, and then we make our way up to the final group two floors above us. Ah, f That's so cool that they can acknowledge no ammo. Shot on my gun. I think that's all of them. Oh my god, finally. And after a few more deaths, we finally reach Ellie and we escape with her, thus concluding the main game on grounded difficulty with a whopping 154 deaths. Honestly, not as many as I thought I'd get, so I'm kind of happy. Now during this playthrough, I was trying to collect as many collectibles as possible, but I mean, I obviously missed a few here and there, let's be honest. So after we complete the Left Behind DLC, we're gonna go around and finish the cleanup. But for now, we select Left Behind, New Game, and then Grounded Mode, and we begin. So the DLC first opens up with Ellie and Joel after the events of the Colorado University. So Joel is badly injured and Ellie is pretty much panicking out of her mind. We then have a brief flashback where we see Ellie get snuck up on by her escaped friend Riley, who then lets her know that she escaped to become a firefly and she asks Ellie to sneak out for the night. We then cut right back to present day Ellie as she locks Joel and the horse up in a store in an abandoned mall as she goes out to hunt for supplies and the DLC begins. We immediately run past the clicker to get to a med kit only to discover that it's completely empty. We then see a crashed medical chopper in the area so we make our way over there to see if there's anything useful. We then cut back to Ellie and Riley as they enter their own abandoned mall and they begin to explore. We enter this Halloween store and we try on a bunch of masks just before we beat Riley in a brick throwing contest getting another achievement. Riley then shows us how to turn on the mall's full power, and we do just that before it cuts right back to present day Ellie. Now present day Ellie approaches the chopper, but before we get to it, we have to activate this generator for a gate to open up, so we go and we look for that generator. As we're looking around for that first generator, we actually have to get gas, and while we're doing this, we're attacked by a group of freakers, and we have to take them all out before we can siphon some gasoline. Ooh, that works. Right after that, we encounter a few infected and some clickers, and I try taking them all out. After failing a few times, I try instead to take out only the basic infected while I sneak past the clickers, and I just narrowly make it past them. Bye bye. Ooh, nice. 
We then leap right onto the chopper and Ellie finds a full first aid kit. We then cut back to Ellie and Riley as they're now entering a very lit up and a very loud mall. They head over to the merry-go-round before Riley pulls out a joke book and gives it to Ellie as we rifle through all of Ellie's bad jokes here. After that, the two of them head to an arcade where I go and I play the Jack X game right before I defeat Black Fang without taking any damage. Let's go! Thank God. Then the two of us have a water gun fight where I completely dominate Riley just before Ellie and Riley kiss. And then, obviously, the ultimate cock block shows up right on cue. Riley. Cut back to present day Ellie as we jump out of the chopper with the bag secured. We then come to a group of hunters that are being attacked by clickers, and we get a bow and arrow from one of them as he's put down by a clicker. And then after that, more hunters show up to kill the clickers, and now it's time for us to kill those hunters. After we make it past this group, we get to another group where we lure infected to them by throwing a bottle, and then I ultimately just run away to the next area. Here, after one attempt to just feel the area out a bit, I do the exact same thing of luring infected to the group and then just hauling my ass away. Finally now, we're at the final hunter encounter as we're approaching where I kept Joel and our horse, and the hunters are trying to break in to get to them. And this time, we can't run away, so we have to take everybody out. And just as I think I took everybody out, more show up, and then some clickers also show up. And after trying my best to be sneaky, but dying a few times, my game crashed. Again. So I called it there again, and then I picked it back up the next day. The next day I proceeded to take everybody out right away, and as we're getting to Joel and the horse, it cuts right back to Ellie and Riley as they're trying to run away from the infected, but unfortunately, both of them succumb to bite wounds. We all know the sad ending. And with that, we have finally completed The Last of Us Part 1 and the Left Behind DLC on Grounded Mode. And it's time for cleanup, so let's go around and gather all the collectibles that we missed throughout the game. First up, I go and I finish all the optional conversations. Right before I go and I pick up Frank's let's note go. that Bill threw on the ground. After that, I go and I get all the artifacts. notes and artifacts, and then I break my last melee weapon being the 2x4, which honestly I let's thought go. I already used, but I guess not. I thought it was the machete, it wasn't even the machete, let's get it, I did the machete. And then finally, against all odds, I was able to trigger oh, Ellie's God. last joke at the end of the suburbs, thank finally you. getting past that bug and completing oh, all of her jokes. Goodness. Then, it's time to collect the final comic book oh. before grabbing the last training manual, and then I break into the final shiv door, finally getting that achievement. One. All that's left now is one firefly pendant. Where is it? So we grab that, and it's done. 100% completion for The Last of Us Let's Part go. 1. Be on the lookout for The Last of Us Part 2, as I will be doing that the second it comes out. But yeah, man, I appreciate anybody that made it this far into the video and watched all the way. You really are a stud muffin. Love you. Later. Peace.